Welcome to Arteon Shooting Brake. Such a beautiful car, isn't it? It is also available in the Fastback Saloon version. Personally, I can't quite decide. Both cars are stunning. Without further ado, I say, let's hop in and find out what the new Arteon is all about. Don't give a damn if I'm silly. I don't care. All right, let's check just how salubrious the acceleration really is. So let's sneak a little launch control. We're going to pop it into sport mode, GTE mode, which is the electric boost on. Now, I've tried to find a way to disengage the automatic start and stop, but I'm not able to find it. But anyway, let's try without it. Foot on the brake, foot on the throttle. Let's warm you up, if you can call it that. And let's rock and roll. Well, it is a bit of a slow dancing, not rock and rolling. And the rain just started to pour. Anyway, the declared 0 to 100 is 7.8 seconds, and I am 7.82. I was hoping for a bit of a better result, but never mind. The top speed is 222 kilometers an hour. The front tires did not like the launch control, but so we've managed. That's fine. Life goes on, as they say. Crashing in the day, blooming in the bright nights. All right, let's have a look what is happening under the bonnet. This is a plug-in hybrid. We've got a 1.4 liter four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine combined with electric motor. The total power has been calculated at 218 horses, 400 newton meters of torque. All plug-in hybrids are front-wheel drive. We do have a 13 kilowatt hour battery. And in terms of charging, you can charge the battery at home using a regular wall socket, and it will take you about five hours. If you've got one of those wall boxes, it will take you three and a half hours. And that is enough about the business under the bonnet. Sleeping in the car, blame it on the moonlight. As soon as you hop into this car, you notice immediately how serene and comfortable it is. The ride is actually quite angelic. You do not feel any bumps, any imperfections on the ride. And I am riding on 19 inch wheels. But of course, you want the bigger wheels because this car looks much better and more elegant with bigger wheels. But here's the good news for plug in hybrids. Adaptive dampers do come as standard, which is a lovely gift from Volkswagen. Thank you very much for that. As you trot around town on electric only, this car is super quiet. Now the declared electric range is 53 kilometers, which is about 33 miles. And you don't have to nanny the throttle pedal too much to get fairly close to this figure, some of it 40s. But if you take it easy and drive mainly in the congested city, where you brake a lot and stop a lot, of course, the car will regain some of the lost energy and you can get this declared range. Take it all the way, one way to get. I love the look of the Arteon, but I want to show you something. We've got frameless doors in the front and frameless doors in the back. Going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go. All right, let's check the boot space. So we've got automated tailgate in all Arteons. Lovely gift from Volkswagen. We've got 590 liters of space, plenty to carry all your clutter. Reasonably easy access. And if that's not enough space, of course, you can fold the back seats down. And the space here is massive. And that is enough about the boot. Now we get it right. Once you're out of electric supply, you of course have the wonderful flexibility of the petrol engine. As you hop on the motorway, you pick up a bit of speed, the comfort continues. There's no tire noise, there's no wind noise. We've got adaptive cruise control, we've got lane keeping assist, and both systems work really well. They are very smooth. All you need to do is delegate, monitor, sit back and relax, which is what makes this car such a brilliant, relaxing, long distance cruiser. But even with the flat battery, I have not charged it for several hundred kilometers. The fuel economy remains at six liters, which is quite incredible because this is not a small car. What isn't small is also the fuel tank. It is massive. It just keeps going and going. The range is 800 kilometers minimum. And this is a perfect example 
of a car that works for you, not against you. And this is why I love hybrid cars because they simply make your life much easier. Now the tables are turned and I climb right out as well. Okay, and what about being a passenger in Artyom? So I have adjusted both front seats for my height, which is just over 1.7 meters, 5 foot 7, and I've got plenty of legroom. In fact, the legroom is rather impressive. Lots of headroom. What about the middle seat? Well, the space here is all right, but what's not all right is this big hump on the floor. So I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do with your feet. We'll leave it at that anyway. The quality of the materials here is just as good as it is in the front. We've got Alcantara running all the way, but the middle seat is artificial leather, so you don't want to be sitting here anyway. But overall, the space here is absolutely lovely. But what's not so lovely, <laughs> I mean, very neat frameless windows, but this is as low as it goes. Why have you done that, Volkswagen? Anyway, we'll just have to live with it. That's fine. Still got your pearls hanging by my bedside. Now on to visibility. The rear window is on the smaller side, but it's all right. You've got a very good visibility here in the front. There's no blind spot. Of course, you've got the high-tech reverse cameras, so parking is not an issue at all. Now, the steering is nice and light, but it's got a very good response. This guy is actually very easy to drive and very easy to maneuver. That's because we've got a very good turning circle. Based on my experience, this seems to be a trademark of Volkswagen, because believe it or not, it can be a bit of a mixed spot. In some cars, you have to twist and turn until your arm falls off, and then the car makes a turn. Now, this car is a little bit heavier than the combustion engine RTLs. That's because we've got the battery, we've got the motor. And in theory, it should put some stain on the handling. But in practice, it doesn't seem to be the case at all. This car handles the curves really well. In fact, the handling here is impeccable. It doesn't lean, it doesn't swing. You know, this is really an advantage of an SUV. That's because you simply cannot cheat the physics. I can't believe it's already over. Okay, so let's have a look at the cabin. So this is the Elegance trim. In the plug-in hybrid, there's also the R-Line, which is a little bit sporty, and of course, this one being a little bit more elegant. And let's begin by talking about the very best thing in the cabin, and that is the seats. They're absolutely lovely. The seating position is really good. The seats are soft, they're comfy, perfect for long-distance cruising. And we've got Alcantara running all the way down here. So no more sweaty bottom in the summer, no more cold bottom in the winter. Sort it. Now the quality of the materials, the fit and finish is really good. Nothing squeaks, nothing wobbles. Everything is well put together. German quality. I do like that. Nice steering wheel for solid in your hands. You've got the shortcut buttons in here. And yes, they can be quite irritating and frustrating to start with, but I promise you with a bit of time and patience, you will actually start to enjoy them. You also have the paddle shifters. I'm not sure why you need them in a car like this. I suppose when you go to the mountains. Okay, fine. On to practicality. So you've got a large bottle of water. You can easily fit in the side pockets. And you also have the carpet down here. I like that. Devil is always in the details. I mean, you know, just th th those little things. When you're driving, your bottle doesn't sort of bang left and right and become, become so irritating. Anyway, you can pop your bottle in here as well. You can pop it in here as well. And if you don't like it, you can close this storage space. And look, there's plenty of smart storage, actually, because you've got a shelf for your key. It fits perfectly, lovely. You've got more storage down here. Two USB-C ports. You've got the armrest that you can modify and feel like a boss, that you hopefully are. Lovely, that's that. Okay, wireless mobile charging. You've got the perfect. And you can close this shelf to hide all your dark deep secrets we don't like others to see it now the materials i do like this wood imitation the leather combinations i think it looks really lovely i'm not sure if it's real leather but who cares it looks and feels good right you've got the ambient lighting on the door so it looks absolutely lovely i will try to show it when it gets a little bit dark okay on to infotainment system so you've got two screens well one is a sort of semi screens for climate semi screen for climate control 
Um, the system itself is easy, straightforward, very intuitive. It's a touchscreen, of course. Now let's have a look at the graphics. They are very good, in fact. Crystal clear. I like the system, actually. But if you don't like it, um, you can always plug in your iPhone or your Android. Um, and you don't need a cable. You can do it while asleep. Brilliant. All right. I want to show you what's so called the e-manager. Now, the e-manager is a function. For example, let's say you're planning a journey. You're leaving a congested city and you, of course, want to drive on electric. So you program it. Let's say you want to use 30 to 40 percent of your battery on the initial part of your journey. Then you hop on the motorway or B road. You want to use a combustion engine. But then you return again to a congested city or city in general. And you can ask the system to use the remaining part of your battery. So it's very efficient. I find that really, really good. Is it just me or is it? do I feel like I have discovered America? But I just find it very, very good. I mean, because that's the whole thing about the hybrid cars, I think. That's the biggest mistake people make. They don't use them the way they, they have been designed to be used. Because nobody teaches them. And even here, who teaches you this? Maybe somebody at car dealership where you learn 100 things in an hour. You don't want that. You want peace and quiet anyway. So that's that. There was something. Oh, yes. The reverse camera. It's a really good one, actually. Really good graphics. You can see the little stones in here. It's one of the best cameras actually, I have seen. So, you know, this is not a small car, but it's very easy to park it. So that's that. Well, what can I say about the cabin? Practicality, plenty of practicality. I wouldn't expect anything less of Volkswagen, but there's also class and refinement, which is something I really appreciate. I have nearly forgotten to mention the deal of climate control. So I've got a separate screen for that. We don't have the physical knobs to twist and turn, but instead we've got the lovely sliders, which can be very distracting whilst you're driving. But anyway, we shall wait patiently until Volkswagen decides to rectify it. Put your hands on my back, boy. We've got six-speed automatic dual clutch gearbox and when you drive like a normal person it is smooth it is seamless but we are going to pop this car into sport mode well you sport mode pop it into gte which is an electric boost and then we're gonna floor this thing around the corner <laughs> there's a bit of a pause but then it picks up nicely. The electric motor gives it a nice boost. The acceleration is effortless. So when you have to have take an idiot in the front of you, don't you worry, you've got the guts to do so. And the brakes, they're not too soft, they're not too grabby. They're just right. Yep, gut punch. Hard to believe, 1.4 liters. Well done, Volkswagen, well done. Put your lips against my boy. So this car starts from 42,000 pounds in the UK. And in my opinion, it is a great, fantastic, in fact, alternative to an SUV. It is extremely comfortable, spacious, practical in all aspects. And on the top of that, it is refined and it is elegant. I personally love the Artyon. I love the Artyon, the very first generation, but the shooting brake, is a bit of a cherry on the cake. Personally, I would go for a different color, but that's just me. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye. Anna, you cannot go to Al Jazeera. No, no, no. Oh. Welcome to Arteon. Arteon? Oh, wow. So you can charge this battery using a regular home socket at home. Home socket at home? Really? Oh. All right, let's have a look what is... Ah, no, maybe not. We won't have a look. Anyway, the quality of the materials here is just as good as this. Is this, <laughs> is this, is this in the front? Oh, yes. We've got Alcantara running all the way down. <laughs> mm.